Yes, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we'll they sneak in, okay. sneak in, well, pick things off. Nice. All right, I'm I have muting my mic. Here we off, go. So I will provide them in the pick tanks. All right, I'm okay. muting my mic. So have a good one, and I will message you if needed. All right, All right I'll mute my mic as well. <laughs> All right, guys, looks like we're gonna get right into it pretty soon here. Okay, guys, so as usual, we are doing World Tanks tournament things. We got a CDR guy just randomly hopped in here. We are taking over um, one of Group D's. I think Easy's running a little late, and one of our first matches was gonna get um, canceled anyway. So since we had an op opening in Group A, we decided that we are going to be taking over a Group D thing, and that's gonna be the game plan for the day. Hi to the family yet? Tweet us at hashtag MonsterCatPodcast your chance to be featured on stream. You guys better tweet at MonsterCat. You get featured on stream. Cool. <laughs> Waiting for Russ to pick their fourth tank. As per usual, my awesome co host here, Nazir, is back this weekend as well to join us. So, me and him are going to be, I think, are we just, is this the only game we're doing from Group D, or are we taking over, like, all of Easy's shit today, or something? Uh, we might play, we might cover two games. They're waiting for Russ to pick their next two. No, we might cover two games, dogs. It's okay, puppies. Just calm down. Um, so yeah, we might cover two games. Not 100% certain yet. Um, it's gonna kind of depend on uh, how the other streamers and games fall. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. So we got two auto loaders, and oh, hey, we got an out of order pick, but that is okay. That is not against the rules. You get a deselection. Got one deselection. Just make sure he picks for... the same tag. Yeah. It looks like we're going to be getting right into this, so I'll stop my music right now. Okay, a little bit of selection problems here. All right, he did pick. He picked a different tank. No, he did. No, that same tank. Same tank. So there's three auto loaders right now. And Zarn's got to pick his tank, and then we're good to go. I'm seeing auto loaders on EMCRWs. They got one six. Six on the Rust side. With uh, Rust should be all eights. Running a lot of heavy stuff. Yeah, man. I, I kind of like that KV4 armor. pick. That's a very KV4 pick. There is a uh, that's a very good choice. I thought what about I was that thinking. thing. I don't know about the VK45 though. I, was, I hated that tank personally. All right, so we have three auto loaders on the rust side. They're all loaded up. No auto loaders on the other side. We got one six and the rest eights. So we are good to go. All right, perfect. Let's do it. And we are. On our way for the first match of the stream, Russ versus DM CRW. Um, this is a Group D match. Even though we're technically in charge of Group A, we're taking over one of Group D's matches since uh, I believe the NC or the CWD get an official DQ for that one. Or um, yes, yes, they did get an official DQ for that for not showing up. Okay, one second, let me got to jump back in here too. Hey, uh, Mad Max, just so you know, your mic is live. Alright, and we are underway for the first match of the stream. Now, Russ Clan is kind of rolling with the same sort of uh, layout that we saw teams last week do. DMCR, Sorry, what was that, BR? DMCR has like a lot, a lot of heavy tanks, like a lot of That'd armor nice. and HP. It's going to be kind of interesting to see how they uh, pull this one out. 
All right, are we going to give a warning to Russ for that uh, missed pick there back on that one, BR, or just let it roll? Uh, guys in game kind of, but not really. It looked like they had the miscommunication on their pick side. It was the same tank that came back. Okay. That was the one who made his misc pick. Did he pick the same tank? Okay. Yes, I believe he did. Alright, okay. cool. Thank you, BR. I thought he did too. I remember the a Chaffee being picked, but I don't remember if it was okay. him or the other guy. Definitely different play styles from Understood. yesterday, Thank you, sir. or from last week's Enks matches. Kind of piling so up. Um, I don't think either team has spied okay. each other yet. I don't think anyone knows where anyone is. <laughs> Russ is doing a top of the line zero push there with their lights. One pushing line. out the spot. Squeamish might have gotten spotted by those lights. Now I kind of doubt it. I think those train cars probably blocked them. I don't think they've seen each other yet. I don't think they either of them know where. Looks like they're just gonna be like using the base as bait or something. Okay, so Russ will be getting a warning for that first match or for that first uh, map error. There we go. There's somebody spotted because someone's in the base cap. Yeah. He just ate a good 400 shot. Found where the heavies are. Heavies are pushing in. Those lights are gonna triple cap. Oh, this is actually interesting. <laughs> they could we could see our first cap out. Russ is, is uh, reset. if you've watched previous previous games, they're pretty good about doing this. In uh, running in uh, Russ's running team? deep into the cap like that. Yeah. There it is. There will be a cap out. Yeah, it'll be the first cap. And what that does is that's gonna force. Thing. What's interesting about this is, you know, different style of play from EU to uh, NA server. But now that's going to change how DMC is going to pick. Yeah, they're going to need some speed. There's the end of the first like game. That. that was actually kind of pretty smart play. They're using kind of like the base as bait, setting up everyone. They kind of called that everyone would be uh, pushing up together, sticking together from that city there. That was definitely... <laughs> First cap of the uh, of the day. First game. First cap for the stream. And I can't even send a warning to this guy to let him know what's going on. I really, really, really wish my Xbox was. Uh... Is Xbox still having issues? I guess that's a stupid question. Of it's it's my issues. it's. Yeah. Now are we still doing winners get uh get the yes. W? Okay. Perfect. Okay, message has been sent. Okay, BR just sent me a message too. I can't thing. mute my mic real quick. So let me set up the scoreboard for this. Trying to kind of like wake up a little bit here. Slept through my alarm. So we need to set up. Perfect. They're already in the right places. Awesome. One game goes to Ross V of the cap right away. Let's see how DMCR kind of uh, goes, tries to counter that strategy, which is actually a pretty smart strategy if you think about it. Most of the teams that we saw last week all grouped up just like DMCR did in that town. Um, they picked a lot of heavy tanks instead of kind of just a little bit more heavies than we normally saw, but still basically the same setup. And uh, they pushed to that base, trying to find out where everyone was, and they just rushed this, kept all of their heavies back, and lit them up, resetting the cap while the light tanks did that, because they knew none of their tanks could get back in time. The only one they would have to worry about is that one light tank, which couldn't 1v3 most likely as a, I believe is a T-37. 
So nothing much that they could do there. Just an interesting uh, play. Let's get the tunes going again until this next match starts. Did you notice someone was AFK that game? No. Uh -uh. Oh, there you go. Picking up mistake, their then. tanks it real quick like this time around. Like the, the northern cap, there was someone on cap and there were two people AFK and he wasn't even shooting them. Alright, so it's now Russ's two. Uh, on Russ's team? They're two, they got... Two I, I just loaders. saw for a quick minute when the game ended, Back to so I DM, really CRW. Know who team it was, but... Huh? I don't know. It didn't it's whatever. I think Rock won that game. I think three, like so they need to pick a six next. Or still has to pick either a six or two Possibly. sevens. I need to head back to party real fast. B BR was saying in Discord that somebody might have been AFK that game on like Russ's team. They, like... uh, they were not. Oh, okay, they weren't. All right, no okay, mind. so there's three auto loaders on Russ's side and a six. No auto loaders on the DMCR side. So we are good to go for this match. I've seen eights and six Sixes. on both sides. Okay, we good? We're good to launch it. Yep. All right, let's go. Game number two, we switch sides as we uh, normally do. I noticed that DMCR picked the exact same tanks and we turn off, turn this off. So I'm kind of interested to see how that's going to affect their gameplay. I'm really curious with that. Definitely going to switch up their strategy though. They don't want the same shit that happened to them as the last time. So let's see how everyone plays this out. Okay, yeah, that was, uh, that's one of those things you get to see when you see, uh, different teams play. Definitely seeing that from, yeah. They're all, they were all pinging kind of like the five line pre-start. So I think they're going to send a couple lights down there and then they're gonna send one down the one line judging by their other ping it what's it's interesting about how that will do is how that's gonna affect uh oh, it's gonna spot them as the mc's and this mc now has got to worry about that since that's something that they did will they continue doing that or will they give it up looks it like looks they like they're gonna they might try turtling the base it looks like that's kind of what they're all Doing, they're just protecting the base this time. And it looks gonna, like the, looks like that's what's going on here. We're gonna see a light tank battle. This is a T thirty seven versus the thirteen ninety. Uh, it won't be much of a battle. Ooh, yeah, that T thirty seven took a nasty shot. Yeah, he's gonna eat. He's gonna. He's probably gonna be done here. He doesn't really have anywhere to turn. They're gonna line up another shot, take him out, and first death, first kill goes over the Russ. Do we even have a kill in the last match? I don't think anyone died. Maybe one person? Uh, yes, we had a couple of uh, DMC guys died as they were oh, trying okay. to cap out the base. Yeah, the rest plays more for the W, less for the uh, kills. The which and stuff is the like difference that. between NAE servers and U servers. Get that W. Here we go with the big old turtle. Yeah, definitely a turtle battle here. This might be an interesting match. See how this kind of goes. I'm surprised KB4 is already shot from that distance. From that distance. Wow. Yes, he is. Let's not be angling very well. Not doing some side scraping. All right, looks like Russ is on the move. The question is, is will he get picked up for moving like that? I don't think they have. Uh, I don't think DMCR has anything that can really scout them from that distance. Possibly. That's what I'm thinking. And they definitely haven't seen them because they're not moving yet. I don't think. I think. However, an interesting way to counter is, that is. Squeamish and uh, I believe get... this is undead. Yeah. Um. I don't think they've been spotted yet, so I don't think they know they're here. However, Squeamish is moving forward, and he's going to get flanked if he watches that corner. He's not going to spot any of them because he's. They're all going to the left. As long as Cardinal doesn't poke mm. that five line. 
we might get a really good flank over on uh, Squeamish here. They're looking for him. I'm getting more of that stack up that you see. Uh, that stack up that you see from top clans, and they're getting ready to make their push. They'll get in position. Cardinal gets spotted. Stack up, and then there we go. Yep. It's like Squeamish just realized that they're there. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, we he should see a lot rushed. of movement from. Uh, 5100 is going to try clicking highest, them. Yeah, that's not oh, fast three and the BK-45 aren't moving. Ooh. Focus fire and... Ammo rack. First there ammo goes another rack ammo rack. Today. Yeah, there's just been so many ammo racks with uh, with this tournament thus far. Undeads yeah, that's, starting that's to get those his IS3s. Light tanks are moving in for the kills for the flanks, which we saw a lot of last stream. <laughs> Lightweight just reams that AMX. Like they're it's like they're kind uh, of all over the place. DMC's there, gotten the their fire. next two tanks in. And look, that's anyway, that's the power of focus fire and team play. Damn. Yep. There it is. Two tanks left. One. Uh, one second here. Someone left down there. VK45. Yeah. See, the VK45 and that IS3 got caught, separated, and. Uh, two on one is a whole lot worse than a one on one. Look at that 1390s on a reload, so. Yeah. It's gonna put fear into him. If you can live long enough to back up into. I don't know, he doesn't. His options are kind of limited. He doesn't really have that. Even if he manages yeah, to get into the other lane, he doesn't really have anywhere to go, and that's it. 7 zip. Yep. They started capping too, just in case. Sorry about that. I left my door open, my cat walked in. They're just yappers. It says I'm playing R6. Oh shit, what the fuck? Why does it say I'm playing R6? Alright, and. Come on, internet, work with me. And that's game two for Russ. That it was. Alright, I guess and, I have to change my oh game. Gosh, I'm I... trying to believe that the next one is Cliffs, is it not? I'm not 100% sure. I have to change my game real fast. Apparently it didn't save when I updated it. So this isn't playing Rainbow Six. <laughs> Come on, update. Okay, next game is next game is Cliff. Cliff. Yep. And this is a new match, I believe, right? I don't think we've seen one on Cliff yet. I don't think so. I think it was Mines. Is what kind of what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Mines is what we did last week. Yeah. And Russell pick first again. Oh my god, internet, please. Please. <laughs>skill and Cap'n? I don't know, man. Kind of have to beg a differ. If you're playing for the win, which in the tournament your style, you kind of are, right? Well, you normally almost always are. But in tournaments, for sure, definitely. Like, that's the whole point of, like, the tournament. Not necessarily just getting KD, so kind of securing the win at that point, which is what capping is for. It also changes one of the benefits of capping, or just putting a cap someone on the cap, is you have to respect it, because it still means you win. So if you can break the team apart, that's, uh... That's true. Have to make them divide and conquer. 
have some you know, internal and once you split it. a team up it makes you uh, a whole lot more likely to win because then you can control how engagement goes okay rust picks their first tank for lightweight you should see a lot kind of uh, a lot different tank selections I would think going from city to a relatively oh. open map like this like uh, DMCRW picked their first uh, tier 6 tank, so that means they're going to be loading up on 8s. The surprise of a T64. I think they're going to try they're, okay. they're going to try using the speed of the T64 to get up to the lighthouse. That would be my guess. Because that thing's really fast. Okay, that's Russ's two picks. Back to DMC. The second week's going a lot quicker and a lot smoother, kind of what we were expecting. 100%. It looks like, uh... It looks like Russ is going to be going with two sevens. I see a bulldog. Probably going to see a second bulldog if they follow the same trend as sort of past. Okay, two bulldogs. Yep. It's like they're going for an all-light speed build, which... I'll imagine they'll probably go for more cat pressure. Brazil. I got a Brazil. Once again. Uh, oh. That is not a pick for Rust. That was a pick by a random. Okay, fun. so there's a second pick for uh, EMC. Still going with heavy armor. Now oh, it's Rust's two picks. The interesting thing about that. Uh, heavy armor option is if they can catch them they turtle it out or something like that they will be able to really kind of wreck us because they'll have more hit points and more armor yeah but then again premium so rounds kind of negate some of that, that benefit yeah they have, they have to, find a good needs to pick that last tank pulling out their first heavy tank too wonder how they're gonna yep. play those how fast is the lightweight bulldogs and I'm not uh, really, I don't think any of them Bulldog's can be... a lot faster than the lightweight. Wow, look at that. Another lightweight. And uh, another Brazil. This and I'm seeing Lots of two auto loaders on Russ and two auto loaders on uh, EMC. So you are good to go. Okay. Light it up and run it. Let's go. Match number three Russ versus DMCR. Russ leading 2 0 against DMCR. Lots of light tanks in this battle, so you're going to see how that affects everything. Now it's updated. Okay, that's good. One of the, one of the things you can <clears throat> see on cliffs that you wouldn't normally see in a regular battle is you might see a 1-2 line push, and it actually can be very effective due to the little cutaway that they added up in the last time they updated this map. So oh, if you were to take, say, take your heavies, push that... Uh, the one two line and, and then push like, navigate up, up to, there into the, the hill area. Yeah. You can cover both sides of that hill and use your armor and be able to easily cover the base if need be. I don't know, I think I feel like if they did go that way, which it looks like they are. Or they might what yeah, it looks like they're going to be pushing that way, and they're going to probably put one tank north to cover and spot up to see where uh, EMC goes. Let me see if I'm. If the, I'm normally, you can't there. do something like this on a regular pub battle. Oh uh, yeah. The reason choke, why is choke point you can't control everyone. Beta. Yeah. Whereas here, we're going to see Rust's going to put one up in the center. Looks like they're all going to go center, so they might actually be trying to do damage. All right, those two yeah. light tanks just got picked up it's for wrong, sure. For wrong sure. About the 64. 64 did not go up the lighthouse. Looks like the Brazil might though. He's definitely gonna be scouting up on that hill a little bit. 64 is about to light up their entire team. He does. He actually bounced the shell, ate a shell. The thing has no armor. I don't see how it could have happened, but it did. I think he. I think he might have. That might have been a miss. I didn't see his name flash. And I saw the diamond. That one definitely hit. Bit. I think his tracks hit. Eight one. Alright, this happens. Brazil down here is also a nice shot. Brazil is all the way up at Lighthouse now, trying to do a little bit of air support, I guess. One could say. Another Brazil covering the bottom side just got annihilated. 
Yeah, that's why doing this can work on a mountain or on this kind of game as opposed to be able to do this Ooh, on a pub ammo game. Rack. Ooh. Good ammo rack. By yeah, that was a full Max. health ammo rack too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was about, I think it was 900 something. I think he ate one shell right before the ammo rack might have weakened it and then. This is where the armor okay. is going to come into play that DMCR decided to go with. Light tanks are kind of scattering a little bit. IS-3 is watching choke point. BK-45. Still up on the mountains coming down to do his work. Squeamish just got it. Still is coming down to go out to that 1390 on reload. Oh, he's not on reload. Oh, that's going to be a bad engagement for him. He should be on reload now. The other lightweight's gonna try killing him though. Or is he just gonna go help him out? I think he's gonna let the Amex get away while he focuses on a couple. Getting that 54 two... lightweight out of the way. Oh! oh there's the Ram, Ram kill. kill looked like there. Yep, that's what it looked like. I don't know, he I'm was getting he DMC didn't that move guy. that. Uh... He just needs to take a little bit more time with his shots. He got a little, uh, a little too aggressive with his shots. Missed a couple. Like uh, snapshots. These light tanks are gonna swarm this KV4 real fast. AMX should be reloaded by now. He's gonna get behind him. Start letting him up here. IS3 coming up nice. to the battle. It's not really gonna matter. That KV4 is done, so there he goes. Yeah, they they didn't bring up that IS3 early enough. That's another thing you kind of need to pay more attention to in team battles is if you get someone behind you, like that KV4 turning his turret around. A normal match, that's never a horrible. You, know, you can get away with that. And this, they're going to focus fire you, so you need to trust on the guy behind you to help clear out what you've got around yeah, you. You just can't like really panic. You have to stay looking where their primary damage dealers are. I would think. Exactly. Second, you flatten that turret out to where there's four tanks. That one behind you is less of an issue. Yeah, well, anyway, another match goes to Russ. So it's now 3-0. I'll we'll change that on the screen momentarily. Let me switch teams real fast because we are switching spawns. This is potential game point for us here. Or match point. Yep, potential match point. Another Rust member seem to have joined our game because I don't have him muted. Or maybe I just missed him. Well, they do have one extra guy, I think. No, no, yep. never mind. They do got. They did pick up another player in there, but it's perfectly fine. Just a backup guy, possibly. Yeah, I had to mute them all because they were talking in game chat. And they could hear all this Russian chatter. Yeah. I was like, where the hell's that coming from? It's like, oh, they're <laughs> chatting in ah. game chat. See, another interesting thing is, you know, Russia, as far as the PC side, is extremely competitive in World of Tanks. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, from what I've heard. These console guys, from what uh, I was understanding from BR earlier, they have a lot of experience. They're something like 100 of competitive matches in, which I know there's even that many competitive games that have been played. Yeah, it probably were around since the start, I would imagine. Is this the only Russian clan, I believe, right? It's only, uh, it's the only one that's gotten in contact with us to get gotten in contact with any English speakers for tournaments. I was kind of surprised to see so, so many, will be... uh, like non-English speaking teams join in in this, since it was kind of posted in the English yeah. side of the forum. Have an Italian. Uh... We do cover the next Group D game. That'll be a French team. Oh, really? Uh, I triple B or whatever it is. I, I forget their. Oh, I have no idea. Say their name there, but they are a French team. Okay. Now we're just waiting on Russ to select first again. Yeah, the second game, and uh, more than likely that'll be a wash because that's another Canadian War Dogs. Oh really? The next matches too? 
And the next match on this one is uh, another Canadian War Dog. Okay, we are waiting for Russ to select their first tank. Will we be doing the NFTG and 47 hour game after this? When we go back to Group A? Um, I don't know. I'll probably talk to BR about that to find out for certain. See him in any of the voice chats, though. Many have asked us when the best of 2015 compilation will be released. Well, January 22nd confirmed. And as an added bonus, we're going to premiere this two and a half hour, 40 track mix on our Twitch channel. So Alright, so yep. PM, 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 PWD. PWD forfeited the first one against CDR2, so they won. There's 4 0. Uh, let me make sure it knows it's their pick. Yeah, they're waiting for something. I can like. get my uh, friends list to work. Come on, randoms, don't join. <laughs> Just making sure that that is looking right. Oh yeah, that's that's my cat, sorry dude. <laughs> I forgot to shut my door like I normally do before stream, so she walked in here and started yapping. <laughs> I'm You're very happy my dogs there. are all nice and tired from playing out in the snow all day. Oh really? They're good to oh, go warm out before the <laughs> matches get going. Yeah. Awesome my videos are right, rendering. My trying CPU. to get to uh message Russ here real quick. Uh, if you could do me a favor and if you could sell Philly Forpock a message, let him know it's his selection. Philly. Can't get my friends list to work oh, again. Four pie. Okay, I see him. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. You guys have a first pick. Okay, he, there was confusion on the picking side there, so that's why delay. They thought it was uh, thought it was EMC's pick. Yeah, I just messaged him. So okay, they can see me. I've got it. Yep. I'm good. This should be underway okay, for our go. first match of the day, pretty soon, or our uh, first series of the day should be wrapping up pretty soon here. Possibly, anyway. And they picked their first. And Russ is a... They are a very, very competitive clan. They've done really well against other teams. Other of the more well-known teams in the NA side of things. They had a good showing against uh, TNG. They had a really good showing against a couple different uh, their clans the uh, ENG Invitational Tournament back in uh, early December and late November. Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of, like, leaning on for this match that DMCR just doesn't have... I think their tank pool doesn't really have some of these more light tanks, which is why they keep going armor, even though it hasn't really worked out for them. That would be my assumption. Because they kind of picked the same exact tanks, whereas Russ has kind of switched it around slightly here and there, depending on what they're wanting to do. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what I'm I'm feeling like. Okay. Seems like we're doing the same setups as last time. I see three auto loaders on the Russ side. 64 in the Brazil. Oh, the medium selection on the 64, and another heavy, right? No, it's the Brazil and the 64. Another Yep, Brazil in 64. Okay, so now it's back to Russ for their two picks. There's one, there's two. Ah, oh, Russ is going heavy this time too. I just need the last pick from them. And seeing three auto loaders, I'm seeing two sevens. Seeing no auto loaders and one six. So we, we are good to go for the teammate. aim if four. That's, if that's good. Oops, I just kicked one of them. The fucking guy left. Ah, shoot. Okay. Yeah. Time to come back and pick whatever tank you 
I went to go boot that guy, and then it he was the T thirty seven. No, it was uh. It was the VK. It was in. He was a forty. Yeah, VK forty five with two alpha. Okay. Now are we good. And for, all the same uh, tanks are in the top. Borsch has switched with Art, I believe, because Borsch is the guy I didn't yeah. have needed, so he joined it. I don't know if that's. Are we good with that? Uh, yeah, that we're good with that as long as he is on their roster, which I believe he is. Yes, he is. Okay, let's start then. So we are good. He is on their main team. All right, I'm just double checking before I started in. Okay, and as that was an accidental on our spot, getting rid of someone, there is no warning for yeah, that, that kick. Yeah, that was my bad there. The guy left right as I was about to boot him. You know how <laughs> it like jumps around all the time. Oh man. Let's turn off the tunes. I'm gonna mute this last guy here so I don't hear any of their strat. And even though I won't be able to understand it because it's in Russian. <laughs> but um Seems like pretty much the same setup. So doing uh two Brazils it looks like. Did they have two Brazils last time? I thought it was just one it, last they time. They had two Brazils last time I believe. Okay. Must have missed one. I could be completely wrong on that. I remember seeing the one that went hill, I don't remember seeing the other one. Might have been the guy that went down. Yeah, their, their other one got melted down. He went around the horn, uh, okay. uh, around the one-two line at the very beginning, and he got melted up pretty quick. Let's see how the teams uh, definitely picking a little bit more armor on Russ team. This I think they only had one IS three last game. I think that was it for them. Uh, I believe it was time. only no. They had no. I believe they only had. Uh, or did they? No, they had. A, they had at they least one had... heavy, and then the yeah. rest were light tanks. Hey, we got Type 64 on a 41 Bulldog. That's needs to just bot and go away from that. Yeah, it's gonna be all right now. Not gonna go very well for him. Seems like pretty much the, the same uh, style as last game for the teams. Russ packing up over at the uh, two line there. The other teams going towards. And it the looks like they're just gonna make a straight push into the bowl. Sent that light tank out, that 54 lightweight, to find out what's over around the corner. The Brazil is going to get melted real fast, looks like. Two lights, he needed to run away quick. It's like the energy. other two lights on, uh... Yeah, that's uh, the standard ammo for that tank, unless you're firing the premium. Wait, HE is the standard rounds for Brazil? Really? Yeah, that's it's a... Uh, that's hilarious, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's it's a uh, it was one of the funny things when that tank came out. A lot of people were knocking it because it got the potential to do a lot of damage with the HE rounds. But you but, have to fire a premium out of it for it to be an effective tank. For it to be a normal tank. All right, now here's something you're gonna see. You see that little uh, 1390 off to the left or off to the bottom side of the map? He's more than likely end up going over there to put cat pressure on the base will likely catch all these uh, DMC guys out of position over here. I don't know. I'm thinking. Man, those guys got ate up like a little they're bit. They're gonna rush cap here. It's kind of what it looks like they're yep. gonna play. That IS3 is probably gonna die on his way there, though. There's the cap pressure that you were talking about. All right, no, this is uh, this is the one. Our team. I got my teams mixed up here real fast, but I think this IS3 is probably gonna die before he reaches cap. There it is. Yep. He's dead. That, that Brazil needed to play farther back on the cap circle to force them to come out farther to spot him. Also keep himself out of the render range of the guys on the hill. Yeah, it looks like the Bulldogs are going to roll up there and kill him real fast. There's the reset. Second shot, this is the autoloader. There's no way. It's firing way too fast for the regular rounds. Trax eats that shell. Did set him on fire though, and then that's the final kill. Kill shot. And kind of a uh, deja vu, same spots as last time as well, where the last two members of yep. DMC are. Same two tanks, oh nope, I'm on two different tanks. And the win goes to Russ. The win goes to Russ with the sweep. No deaths on their uh, team either. So that's it, guys. They only lost two or three tanks that whole series. Yep. yep. That was that. That is that. Rust